Hi guys, Brock here with Procore Power Equipment. Today we're going to be walking around the new Toro 60 volt stripe mower. So this is a, I believe it's 21 inch, uh, might be 22, somewhere in there. Uh, but this is their stripe model. I have never used this mower before. I had one guy try it out. Uh, so it's, you'll see some grass on it. Toward the end of this video, we're going to take it outside. We're actually going to mow with it and get some uh, real life feedback on it. Um, I don't know that much about this mower. Like I said, brand new model for us. I believe it's 21562 is the model number. I'll put a link to the description down below. Um, if you're interested in it, check it out on the website for sure. But definitely we're gonna do a walk around video, kind of point out some of the things that I see on it already. Um, and then we'll take it outside and actually use it. The first step, we have kind of a redesigned look to it, comparing it to the normal recycler mower. Uh, it's got two headlights in the front here. Uh, I do like the little cover here, pops up. You can slide your battery in here, 60 volt. All the Toro 60 volt batteries are interchangeable with each other and other tools that, that they offer. That's kind of a cool thing. It has a plastic uh, shell for the deck. That's kind of an interesting thought. Uh, Honda has done that for years. They've never had issues with them or very, very few issues with those. Um, so I think it'll be all right. So I'm gonna flip it over here. Got your transmission back here. I believe that, that one is actually driven with an electric motor. So there's no belt on this thing. You have electric motor here and there. So two motors on this guy to, to make it propel, one, one to propel it and one to actually turn the blades. So it has a bag on here. I don't know, I am assuming you can mulch with it and bag. Like I said, somebody tried this one out, so it's a little dirty. It's got a mulch plug in it, so it would evidently mulch and bag. So both options there for you. Bag is the same one as the recycler has on it as well. Slides down into place here, it's got a nice feel locks in really well up here they can completely change the controls compared to the other mowers you have your drive control you can set your max speed with the knob here and then the button here push that in and that engages the blades um, so definitely a different look and feel to it you got the top bail cables that has to be down to engage the the blade on it and the bottom one will actually make it move so if you pull up on it it'll start driving and like i said this knob kind of controls that max speed it has two points of adjustment you have one here and then one in that corner, just kind of lift, uh, lift and lower both sides. I'm sorry, it's this corner, not that one. Uh, but you can lift, lift it up and lower it from one side and get two points of adjustment. Okay, well, let's go outside, try it out, see how it does. And yeah, I'll try to give you some feedback then. So we have this mower outside now in the sunlight. Um, we're going to try mowing. I am not an expert at mowing, so please don't critique me too hard on, on my style here. I'm just going to mow a couple passes and see if we can get a nice stripe to it. You know, it is in the name, so I'm hoping it does a good job with that. To start with, I think I'm gonna go pretty slow with it. Take it back here, because I don't know how it's gonna do, you know, with different speeds. So just have it down here at a kind of slow speed. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Blades are on. This grass is kind of thick here. Um, you know, you can see that I think it would, like if I kept going, I think you'd have more defined stripes, but you can see kind of these little row there in the center. This grass is really tall. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna take the, the mulch plug out of it and we're gonna bag with it and see how that does. So you can see this over here, this is with a bag. Um, so this mowed definitely better than over there. Uh, you know, the first part I was mowing with the uh, you know, mulching part of it. But this grass is really thick and tall here. It's probably taller than you probably have at home. So take that for what it's worth. I think at home it'll do just fine. Um, definitely leave nice stripes, nice lines to it. Better than I had expected. I've never striped with a 21 or 22 inch mower, but to, to give them credit on a normal mower, I've never really tried before either. So. Uh, you know, this made it pretty easy to handle. Uh, over here, you can see this is when I had the mulch kit in, and it just kind of left a little bit of a windrow right in between. I, I didn't like that, but there again, if it was shorter grass, I think it would do just fine. So I'm definitely not proud of this mowing job. I left a few lines in between where it didn't quite overlap the way I was supposed to. But overall, you know, I'm not used to this mower. I think it did very well. Um, a couple of things, the drive system on it, 
I think could be a little bit faster maybe, but there again, if you want nice stripes, you probably do have to slow down a little bit. Um, it had plenty of power, and that was something I noticed. If I got into thick grass um, toward that end there, it would kind of speed the motor up, and that was kind of nice. It, it definitely helped going over that. You know, what, it didn't bog down or anything. I could sped it up. So I was impressed with that. Overall, for the first time with a little 21 inch, really well. Uh, I definitely think if I was doing my lawn every week or a couple times a week, I can make it look really good with this mower. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in this mower or any other Toro mower, please visit our website or give us a call. We're always happy to help. Have a great day.